All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Wah Rakakudash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you true, sincere brethren out there, pushing out this purified truth, cleansing this wicked, defiled kingdom with this word, and to the rest of the church who believe as well. The water to Yahweh Shai, because without him, none of this would even be possible. We interrupt our programming. This is a national emergency. Important details will follow. transmitted at the request of the United States government. The North American Aerospace Defense Command has detected the launch of 10 Russian missiles, which are headed for the United States. These missiles are presumed to contain nuclear warheads, and are predicted to make impact within the next 15 to 25 minutes. Predicted impact sites include, Washington DC, New York City, San Francisco, California, Seattle, Washington, New Orleans, Louisiana, Salt Lake City, Utah, Helena, Montana, Kansas City, Missouri, Rapid City, South Dakota, and Boston, Massachusetts. All persons within 100 miles of the impacted areas should seek out a fallout shelter now. If no such shelter exists in your area, get as far underground as possible. Stay away from windows. Using everyday household objects, put as many walls between you and the outside world as possible. You should get together a basic survival kit, including a flashlight and a hand cranked or battery operated radio. In a situation like this, what in the hell are you going to do? Now you have to put things in perspective, right? So in a scenario like this, we know that the chip would have to be implemented. So if these people were to just actually be at home and everything's normal, they would have to have the chip, okay? Now seeing they're being warned, they're being told to get to safety, once them missiles hit, everything in its path is going to be destroyed. There is no safety. So in a time like this, you're going to be hopeless. There's no way out of it, outside of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. And that's why also you have, um. Heathens already leaving America. But Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai created those missiles to be used. So this is Isaiah 54 and verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. So the Heavenly Father created the waster to destroy he created it through the hands of men he gave man the inspiration to come up with ways of splitting the nucleus the the, nu the nucleus <laughs> they came up with ways of splitting the atom which is where you got the atomic bomb but the nuclear missile is far more powerful than the atomic bomb and you saw the damage that um the atomic bomb did to Hiroshima back in 1945, okay? Where 145,000 people were killed from that atomic bomb. And that was in 1945. Well, we're in 2018. 
So these missiles or missiles are going to be far more destructive. But really, it was the Heavenly Father who created it. Through the hands of the, the blacksmith. He is the one who uh, puts together, using his, uh, his skillful intuition, on weaponry, his craftsmanship. So let's read this again. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. So the Heavenly Father created the sword, he created the gun, he created grenades, he created every weapon out there. He created everything in general. But don't get it confused, that also includes weapons and weapons of mass destruction. Alright? For use during your stay in the shelter, stay tuned to local media for further information. Do not venture outside until it is declared safe to do so. The President will be speaking on all stations shortly. Please stand by for this message. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast stations and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air providing news and information to the public in assigned areas. We will continue to... And trying to store food in a time such as this is a complete waste of time. Now we know that those missiles would only take 25 to 30 minutes, if that, to reach America. Alright, so uh, no matter where you go, you won't have the time. The only way to escape those missiles is either one, to leave Babylon, or two, put your faith in Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, that he delivers you out of here if you're an Israelite. Okay? Oops. That was Satan that made me do that. The fight for the perfect reward starts with fire. A slow roasted inferno of dark. Serve the New York City area. If you are not in this local area, you should tune to stations providing news and information for your area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the New York City area. Do not use your telephone. The telephone line should remain open for emergency use. I remember some time back, probably about a month ago, I had had a dream and there were sirens going off in the background, but the sirens had more of a, a deep, um, bass behind it. It was more deep, but you know, listening to that just made me think of that dream, which is in the spirit. And now that I dwell on it, it probably symbolized those missiles were coming, but in my dream, when I heard it. I just knew that all hell was here. It was time. And that's the spirit too, because yesterday I came home from work and I walk in my house and I look on the floor and my damn dog had chewed up my Red Dawn DVD. And it was through the spirit because I wanted to watch it, but I didn't get a chance to because he had chewed it up. It was on my mind to watch it again. And then here it is right here. And that's a good example of what is to come. In that movie Red Dawn, everyone was partying. Everything was normal. And then the next day, America was invaded by foreign troops out of nowhere. There was no warning. And those missiles are going to be sent the same way. Out of nowhere, 
Russia and uh, all these other countries are going to send the missiles off to America. And then by that point, the only warning you get is a 30 minute gap at most. Let's go to Jeremiah 50 and 25. The Lord hath opened his armory and hath brought forth the weapons of his indignation. So why does it say um, his armory? Because I just read to you in Isaiah 54 that the Lord created the blacksmith. So really, them nuclear missiles belong to the Lord. Those are his weapons. All right. When you look at a gun, the clip that's inside the gun, that's the armory of the gun. That's what holds the bullets. All right. So the Lord, he is going to open up his armory being them silos. And that's where the missiles are going to come out and be shot to the ends of the earth. For this is the work of the Lord, the Lord power of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. So the Lord is going to use his armory or those missiles to destroy America. Let's go to Isaiah 34. This is Isaiah 34 and 5. For the sword shall be bathed in heaven. And that sword is going into the missiles. And the reason why it says it will be bathed in heaven is because those missiles will be in the sky for a while as they're being shot from one end of the earth to the other. Then they're going to be in the sky. And then it says, uh, well, before I go any further, if someone, you know, like um, someone who's in the Olympics and they're into that, um, you know, the swimming and they're racing. And how they're bathing in that water going from one end of the pool to another. Well, that's how those missiles are going to be in the sky. They're going to be swimming in that sky <laughs> to get here. They're going to come from the sky. So that's showing you it's not a literal sword. This is speaking of missiles. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumea. And that's another way of saying Edom. Okay, that's a Greek way of saying Edom. And upon the people of my curse to judgment. And the people of the Lord's curse is Esau, the so-called white man. And that's why they lack pigmentation. And I always have to mention this. Not all pale people are Edomites. But primarily Esau are pale people. But you also have uh, dark brown Edomites. Okay? You have light brown Edomites. Not just pale. But everything is done through the spirit. Uh, where was I at? Let's go to verse 6. Isaiah 34 and 6. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is fat with fatness. And with the blood of lambs and goats. With the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord hath a sacrifice in Basra. And a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. So just like you would sacrifice animals in the fire. The Lord is going to sacrifice you Edomites in the fire. This is going to be a huge massive uh, Edomite Holocaust. Okay. And everyone else who's caught up in that fire. You're going to be a part of that. As a animal sent to a burnt offering. To be burned. So those missiles are going to consume and devour everything at once. Alright. Let's read that again. I like to read my verses at least twice. You know to uh, help the understanding. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness. And with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord hath a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. Okay? And the land of Idumea is speaking of all Edom. But primarily right now, America is that, that golden cup of the so-called white man. So America is also known as the land of Edom today. All right? <laughs>
What you gonna do, Esau, when the missiles come and drop on you, man? There's there's no escape. All right? <clears throat> there's no escape at all. And destruction cometh as a whirlwind. This is Habakkuk 3 and verse 8. Was the Lord displeased against the rivers? Was thine anger against the rivers? Was thy wrath against the sea that thou didst ride upon the horses and thy chariots of salvation? So that's showing you that when the Lord returns and them chariots, he's returning with great anger. He's coming back angry, man. This will be the day of the Lord's vengeance because right along with those missiles or missiles, you are going to see UFOs, as you would call them if you were unlearned, but really they're chariots coming from the sky to destroy and to deliver. Let's read this again. Habakkuk 3 and 8. Was the Lord displeased against the rivers? Was thine anger against the rivers? Was thy wrath against the sea? And the sea also represents people. So let me get that right quick and I'll jump back. This is Isaiah 17 and 12. Woe to the multitude of many people, which make a noise like the noise of the seas and to the rushing of nations that make a rushing like the rushing of mighty waters. The nations shall rush like the rushing of many waters, but the power shall rebuke them and they shall flee far off and they shall be chased as the chaff of the mountains before the wind and like a rolling thing before the whirlwind. So there you go. All right. So these people are going to get caught up in that destruction. Those who are sanctioned to be caught up in that. Let's jump back to Habakkuk 3 and 8 now. Was the Lord displeased against the rivers? Was thine anger against the rivers? Was thy wrath against the sea? So the sea also represents people. Okay. That thou didst ride upon the horses and thy chariots of salvation. The bow was made quite naked according to the oaths of the tribes. So those missiles are going to be exposed. You're going to actually see them being used. Even thy word, Salah, thou didst cleave the earth with rivers. The mountain saw thee, which is going into the elites, and they trembled. The overflowing of the water passed by. The deep uttered his voice and lifted up his hands on high. The sun and moon stood still in their habitation. At the light of thine arrows they went, and at the shining of thy glittering spear. So those arrows are going to be shot through the sky. Okay? And they're going to appear as, um, as, uh, Pretty much like lightning because they're going to come so quickly. Okay. That's why it says the shining of thy glittering spear. So those arrows are going to be quick like lightning. And once they explode, it's going to have that, that flash behind it. Okay. It's going to look like a flash bang. Thou didst march through the land in indignation. Thou didst thresh the heathen in anger. So the Lord is coming in them chariots and the missiles are coming alongside with them chariots to deliver the elect and to destroy the rest of the people. Thou wentest forth for the salvation of thy people. So this is showing you while the missiles are being sent off, the Lord is quickly going to come and deliver his people at the same time simultaneously with the missiles. The chariots are going to come simultaneously with the missiles. Thou wentest forth for the salvation of thy people, even for salvation with thine anointed. Thou wouldest, thou woundest the head of the house of the wicked by discovering the foundation unto the neck. So destruction is coming to America and the Lord is behind all of it. And the Lord is going to put that spirit on different nations to send those missiles off and to destroy this place and no matter where you are in america unless you are the elect you are going to be uh, burned up in that fire just as you would put an animal in the fire 
in the old days for a sacrifice. And there's going to be a huge sacrifice here in Babylon. All right. And as I've stated, when you read Habakkuk 3, 8 through 13, you put the pieces together. It tells you that the chariots and the missiles will come simultaneously. So through that, hopefully this was simple and edifying. Kahala Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Shalom.